Now, what did you do during the first lockdown? Well, comedian Jenny Eclair turned 60 and it was such a momentous occasion for her that she's written a show about it, which she's touring around the country. Well, I spoke to her about it a little bit earlier. Jenny, you turned 60 then in the pandemic. Oh, well, congratulations. <laughs> no, 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 it's just a reminder. <laughs> yes, in fact, I did. That was two years ago, do you remember, back in the day? Yes, turned 60 in 2020, pandemic times. You see, this is why the show is called 60. Um, and I was meant to go out in 2020. Mm. Uh, to show, match the show up with, you know, how old I was. I'm doing the, the tour now at 62. Wow. Might as well be honest. Um, but, yeah, we all had a bit of an 18-month hiatus, didn't mm. we? And then got back on the road and uh, the show did very well. Sorry, I'm trying to concentrate, but I've just had to change my clothes because I was wearing a jacket that made me look like a fat matador and I'm just trying to get over that, <laughs> process it. And I've just lucky. lost every single credit card. If I get stuck here at this news building place, I, I can get home because that's what crossed my mind. I thought, how am I going to get home? I have still got my over 60s oyster card, which means that I can catch the bus. I was going to say, is that one? Of, there are some highlights, aren't there? there are, to being oh, there are some perks to being 60. <laughs> there genuinely are. I mean, it takes you quite a long time to sort of uncover those because at first, I've never worried about any birthdays. I've never been that yeah. type. You know, I mean, <laughs> I, I've, n I've never had sort of beauty to lose or anything like that. So it's never been a, a huge trauma to me getting older. But 60, I got a bit miffed about. I just sort of did didn't think it was very me. Right. You know, there are some people that sort of seem to be ready for yeah. 60. And well, I... well, what was it then? What was it that you weren't ready for? I would, well, I, I say in the show that I don't think legally you should be allowed to turn 60 until uh, you've got things like uh, a set of secateurs. You should have <laughs> secateurs. And I, I genuinely didn't think that I should be allowed to turn 60. I think I've got secateurs. Yeah, well, <laughs> you're a bit premature there, but I've still got PVC trousers in my wardrobe. Are you I mean, not allowed to have them? Well, at 60, it's a bit sort of... Risky. I mean, obviously, I can't fit into them, but they're in my wardrobe, so how can I be 60? And you're in good company. I mean, the likes of Madonna, I mean, she's She's 60. older than me, love. She's older well, than me. there we go, there yeah, we go. Yeah, oh, yeah, she, she got there before me. I did a big chunk about Madonna in the show and how she turned 60 and, um, and the differences between Madonna and myself. Uh, you must... I mean, I have to be careful of that because this is daytime news stuff and you've got to be careful with language. So I won't go there, but uh, we do... I do some comparisons with Madonna. I feel very sorry for her. It must be exhausting. What is it, though, you think, about turning 60 that, that made you go, ooh, I'm not sure about that? Is it a perception of... You said it, you, you thought you had to do certain things, but is it a perception of how other people view you as well? Absolutely, Danny. Yes, you're right. I think that other people expect you to want to do things that you don't necessarily want, you, you want to do yourself. You know, I think they expect you to volunteer yeah. and to give people lifts to the chiropodists and do all the boring things that nobody else wants to do for no money. And a lot of women in their 60s become grandmothers. And if you look up the emoji for a grandmother on your phone, it is a little old lady with a bun. But don't you think things are changing? They, should, they are changing, but, you know, you'd think emojis would maybe reflect that. I do definitely think they're changing, but, I mean, I also understand that certain things happen in your 60s that um, that mean that you end up wearing th ugly shoes <laughs> like you you're, you get things like plantar fasciitis and and you know instead of wearing shoes that you would normally want to wear you're told by your chiropodist that you have to wear trainers, big squidgy holes. I'm slightly worried because I've had that myself and I'm, have you? I'm nowhere near that age, so I don't know what that makes you, me. Well, your future <laughs> just involves a world of very ugly shoes. I'm very <laughs> sorry. It's coming. It's bleak, isn't it? Yeah. And you're taking your tour. There's new dates, aren't there, added for autumn? Yeah, there are about 30 new dates and we start off on the 1st of September and we go to the end of October. And are there any words of wisdom then for, 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 for people who are approaching 60? Um, you have to... You, you basically have to embrace it and just... You have to say to yourself, uh, free prescriptions, free prescriptions, <laughs> free prescriptions. It's worth it, it's worth it. And if you live in London, you get an over 60s Oyster card. And other places too, I believe. Listen, it's been great to talk to you. You yeah. are sensational at 60 in, in many departments. 62. 62. Let's, 62. Let's, 62. Let's be it. correct. Yeah. Let's be exact. Listen, Jenny, it's been a, a real pleasure to talk to you and good luck with everything. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you very much.